Hello Stampers, Deb Felder here, your Fun Stampers Journey Coach, and today I'm going to show you a cute little card done with the Pelican Stamp Set. And it's from our collection in our new mini catalog, Spring into Summer, and it's in the Under the Sea collection. This is my favorite collection in the whole book, as you can tell, because I've been doing lots and lots and lots with it. But this right here is the um, Pelican. It says, Hello Pelican, and there is some words in there and a little stamp. And then I also used the, let me just show you, it is the um, Create a Dot Stamp right here and um, it's just an adorable little set so let me get started there's not a whole lot to it so it's a, a pretty simple card it looks like it's very involved but it's not um, so let's get started I'm going to bring in my grid paper here and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do my background because I'm going to use it with my white um, ink and um, the white ink takes a little bit longer to dry so I'm going to bring in my whipped cream ink and I'm going to bring in my create a dot. Now you'll notice that this is not a full sized background stamp so you're going to see how I'm going to make it um, look like it's a full um, background stamp. So I'm going to just ink this up with the white craft ink and then we're going to take the oatmeal cookie cardstock over here and we're going to lay it on here. Now this is where I'm telling you it doesn't fit the whole thing. So what I want to do is I want to take and just line it up nice and even onto my um, cardstock right here or onto my stamp right here. And then what I'm going to do is um, mask the top of it. All right. So that's my white craft ink and I'm going to just ink that up with my stamp. Now I can just lift that up because it doesn't, uh, isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Um, it is just um, absolutely gorgeous. I love it, love it, love it. I'm going to let that dry for a little while. This is actually going to be the top and there's the bottom and that's where I'm going to put my ribbon. So um, let me just, like I said, put that aside and then I'm going to take and um, show you how I did the little um, wood piece right here. So what I did was I took my um, just a little piece of uh, oatmeal cookie and I'm going to start with my little baby daubers. Now these are found in the mini catalog also. Let me just show you where those are. Um, they're also in that Under the Sea collection and um, because of it, they're on page 31 of the uh, Spring into Summer catalog. These are just absolutely adorable. You get four sponges with them, so they're interchangeable. And what I mean by that is they have Velcro on them, but what I do is I attach them right to the bottom of my um, ink pad. So for this one right here, this is my hazelnut one. I'll always have it for my hazelnut. And then, um, like I said, they're just interchangeable and you can keep using them again and again and again and again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take both my white um, ink out and I'm also gonna take my hazelnut blend. Now this is my white um, my white uh, dauber and here is my hazelnut. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna literally just run it up and down just like this. Now it's not gonna look like much when you first start, but um, when we get it going, you're gonna see how it's gonna turn. See, already it looks a little bit, now a little bit like wood. Starting with the oatmeal cookie gives us a nice base. You notice I didn't start with a white ink or uh, a white piece of paper. Now I'm going to take my uh, white dauber, and you'll notice that it does have some brown around it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't come off on the ink pad, so don't let that worry you. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm just going to take it and just lightly put some streaks into it, just like this. All right. Now I'm going to go back one more time with the hazelnut and. Just add a few more to make it look more like a piece of wood. Weathered wood, actually. Weathered wood. Did you get that? Weathered wood. All right, so there's our two, um, there's our, our little wood piece. We're going to let that set and dry. Now remember, there's white um, ink on there also. The whipped cream is on there, so we want to let that dry just a little bit also. All right, so we're done with the white. I think we're going to just need this one right here. And... We're going to bring back in. It's still a little bit wet, but not too bad. Oh, you know what? We can do these first. Okay, while that's drying, we're going to take the words, and this is one of our bloom benefits. I love these. In this in this um, particular card, I'm using two of our bloom benefits, and those benefits are, let me just show you, found on, in this little mini catalog, they're found on page seven, and I'm going to be using the tag it. These are those, you know, you get 20 pieces of those. So you get 20 tags and then the, the six yards of this twill rope. It's awesome rope. Wait until you see what I do with it. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to stamp my words and the words come right from the um, Pelican stamp set. So let's just grab that. 
and I love our clear blocks because you can see right through them. You can line things up and there's absolutely no problem with getting things straight and centered. Voila! Okay? So there's that, and now what I'm going to do is to, I'm just trying to get everything all inked up. Now I will tell you I cheated just a little bit, but when I tell you I make a lot of cards all at one time, I really make a lot of cards all at one time. And these are the ones that I just have to color and finish up. But I did pre-color this one right here. This is the Pelican, and I did cut him out. Um, I used my... Um, my reinkers and my fusion blender to actually color them. So these are these are what I did, and then I used my blending brushes. So that's how I colored this little guy right here. And those are all the colors that are in this little bird right here, using the light gray, which is um, the uh, the river stone right here, um, to get most of him. And then to add some sparkle, and I don't know if you can see that or not, but to add some sparkle to that right here, I just used my um, sparkle silk and I put it into. You know, I always keep it in here in my small blending brush, and I just um, blended it on there. So that was pretty easy and pretty fun. All right, so that's how I got him, and then I cut him out. So he's done, and they're done. I just have to color all of the rest of these. And I'm telling you, when I do cards, I do a lot of them at one time. So these are all the cards that I started. They're just waiting for my little pelican to be on there, and then they'll be done also. So this is Deb, the multitasker. Um, that's how I get so many things done in, in a day. All right, so let's get those out of there because those are super easy and super fun to color. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in, there are, in this little set right here, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little dots. All right, I'm just going to take a couple of them. I'm probably Probably just going to take um, probably just two of them, but there are seven little dots in here that you can add to this little guy right here. So let's bring in our hazelnut ink, and I'm just going to randomly stamp. Now these don't have to be perfect. Um, I just like to um, I just like to randomly um, stamp them down anywhere. And like I said, they don't have to be within the lines. These, this stamp set, when you lend itself, um, it just is so cute. So those are just some of the dots. I'm going to do a couple more than I would normally, just to show you that there are different um, options for these. Like I said, there's, I think I said seven of them. Let me see. I'm going to try this one. This one's kind of squiggly and fun. All right. Uh, let's see. We'll go here and here. It's just fun to just... You know, just throw them on there. Okay? All right, I do have another one out here. It's so addicting. Here we go. Let's go right up here and here. And you see I'm not even, I'm not even worried about, you can get them centered, but um, it's just a lot of fun. You don't even notice it when it's on here if they're not in the, in the center of these. All right? So there's just a couple of them. You want to randomly stamp them. Not a lot. You don't want it to be overpowering to your little bird because your bird is your focal point. And now I do believe he is ready to be put together. Okay, so let's start with um, the um, oatmeal cookie satin ribbon. So what I do is I take my Easy Glide, turn this over, and just put some adhesive here on the back. And then just start by placing that on there, going around, and then placing, whoops, I better put some more closer to the end here. There we go. Alrighty. And this will be um this will be added with the other adhesive too. Alright, so there's that. And now what I'm gonna do is to add that to my hazelnut paper. And that's how everything coordinates. Our hazelnut ink um, coordinates with our hazelnut paper, which coordinates with our ribbons. It's just a lot of fun. Alrighty. This is more adhesive than I ever put on here, but. We want it to stick. Okay, so we're going to add that to there just like that. It's already cute. All right, so we've got that. Now what we need to do is to, this is so much fun, watch this. All right, so I have a, a piece of ribbon. The ribbon is about 12 inches long, all right? And then what I'm going to do is take some adhesive and put it on the back here and start my ribbon on the back, or my uh, my rope on the back. And then this is this just looks like... Uh, some awesome fishing rope. All right, so I'm going to take my Grand Pro shears, nonstick, self sharpening, and there's our little there's our little guy right there. Okay, so let's take and put some adhesives on that. Let's go with the medium sized one. I believe those will fit onto there. 
and we're going to add that to this piece right here. All right, you want it off to the left just a little bit because his, his beaky thing is so big. All right, so there's that. Now we're going to take the hay there, and remember we have a piece left over. So we're just going to take and throw that through the middle like that, tie a little uh, knot on the end. All right, so 12 inches is more than enough, but it gives you enough um, to be able to wrap the ribbon or, or the, the twill tape around and um, tie your knot and still have some left over to cut off. All right, so now we need to put um, a little journey dot on there. So I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take two of my little ones and just put them down one on each side, okay? And then did I double pop those? No. All right, so then what I'm gonna do is add that just like this, making sure that that goes underneath, okay? And when you do that, it you know what? I am gonna double pop this one right here because. It looks like it's going downhill, and I, I thought I did. I just wasn't happy with it because it looked like it was going downhill. So basically what you do is you put a journey um, foam square on one on top of the other one, and it just makes it a little bit higher. That looks much better to me. All right, so there's that, and so far so good. All right, so now we have our little bird right here, okay, just like that, and we're going to pop him up. So I need my large foam squares to do that. These are the medium ones. Yes, I did use scrap paper because I always use scrap paper. You guys know that. I'll take and put a little one on his beak just so his beak doesn't cave in. All right, and we are ready to put this little guy right on there. All right, I overdid too many of my um, my calendars. <laughs> so yeah, just use them. I just use them up. All right, so he's right there. And then let me see, what else do we have? We have, oh, our journey twine right there. So I'm going to take my journey thread, excuse me, and I'm going to just bring it into here like this. And just tie a bow. Just like this. One, two, three, and then you're done. Now you, you got to put some journey glaze on it because what's a, what's a project these days without journey glaze? All right. No waste on that. Alrighty, so there's that, and then, whoops, let's get his little head above the, there we go. So the only thing I have left to do is to add our journey glaze to it. I'm just going to add this right to his little beak right here. And you don't want to scratch it along, you want to just slather this on there as much as you can, because it just makes a world of difference. I'll just just make sure you're not like scraping it along because you don't want those little lines in there. There we go. And it's on pretty thick, so it's going to take a little while to dry, and it will dry very clear. Alrighty. Whoops, I forgot a spot right there. Just add it in there. There. He's nice and shiny. His eye will darken up as soon as it all dries. It's just so cute. Um, and that's my card for today. That's it. It's just the cutest little thing ever. Um, and like I said, the only thing that took a little bit of time was to color him. And I didn't want to have to have you sit there and pain, painstakingly watch me color. Oh, wait, I forgot to put it on the card base. Hello. All right. And I do that with my pop dots, but I'm not going to do that right now because I do have to. Um, let's just get this out of the way and I'll show it to you on the on the table here. And this is what it looks like. It's so stinking cute. Look at that. Love it, love it, love it. And I hope you do too. You take care. Have a great day. You know how to get a hold of me. And I hope you enjoyed my, my post for today. Take care.